And then this weekend... Are you ready? The 2023 Formula One season officially kicks off at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Well, we can now go live to Bahrain to speak to McLaren star and friend of the show, Lando Norris. Good morning to you. Lovely to speak to you today. Thank you. Good morning. Good so, morning. Nice to see you again. I saw my extended family last time, so it's good to have you back. <laughs> yeah, I know, Absolutely. I know. Well, we I mean, it. we did adopt you uh, last season. Um, it's something we take, I think, a lot more seriously than you do, but that's OK. We're not <laughs> hurt by that in the, <laughs> in the slightest. So, start of a new se season. New car, new yep. teammate. Um, where, are, where are you? Where is the car? Where are the team right now? Great questions. Um, it's still, uh, I guess, time. Time to figure out this weekend. Uh, we have a good idea. Um, my new teammate, Oscar, uh, is doing a very good job so far. It's his first season in Formula One. Uh, and I remember my first time in Formula One, my first race. So uh, probably a lot of nerves and so on, but he's done a very good job. Um, the team are doing a good job. Uh, where we're going to be is the question. Um, the guys have worked very hard. They are working very hard uh, now and currently. And a lot of testing, a lot of data gathered over the last few weeks to try and understand and put together. So. We'll find out. Saturday, we'll find out how good we've been. Well, I've, uh, I've, got, I've sort of got the Formula One app, which I'm on all the time. Um, and uh, and yeah. certainly looking at the pre-season practice, um, uh, it is a new car, all new cars, so you know, everybody has to figure out yeah. uh, where they are. But, um, but it, it, it doesn't look like it's come in as like, oh, my God, it's, it's incredible. There is still some, mm -hmm. some way to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I don't think we've, we've, we've not come in here thinking that we're going to be winning races all of a sudden. Uh, I think I can make that, that clear. Um, we've made some, some steps in different areas over the winter, uh, which is uh, very important for us. Um, and I think more importantly, we have a very clear plan for this year, what we want to achieve. So wherever we are this weekend here in Bahrain in the first couple of races of the year um, is where we are. And I think we have to understand that we're honest with, the, with each other and with ourselves. But we have an ambitious plan for the rest of the season to, to take the steps forward that we should do, be doing and we, and we need to do to, to make progress uh, up the field. So, sorry, there's a lot of flies here in Bahrain. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have a very ambitious plan. So we need to stick to that. And uh, hopefully by the end of the season, I can be a lot more confident in saying that we're, we're closer to uh, fighting for podiums and fighting for wins. Um, you've signed a, a long-term contract with them, and I know you sort of go back on something you said just now, that you remember your first year of Formula One and what that yeah. meant to you. That You know, that here's a company that really did give you such a huge opportunity at a very young age, and you must feel very loyal to them for that. Of course. Like, uh, it's my home here in, in McLaren. Um, I'm still growing on the orange. I wouldn't say it brings out my best, my best side, <laughs> but it's, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's part of it, so um, I, I do love it. They've given, my, given me my opportunity to be here in Formula 1 uh, since I'm, what, 17, 18 years old, so um, I've enjoyed every minute. I want to win races with McLaren, you know. That's my, my goal is to obviously win a race and win races and championships in Formula 1, but to do it with McLaren uh, as part of the story and, and the journey that we've been on so far, I think we'll definitely make it more special. So I still want to do it with McLaren. I got, you know, I'm here for, for three more years uh, currently. Hopefully I would extend that and do even more but um i do want to be winning races and i believe we can do that in the next few years the um the latest series of drive to survive has uh, has dropped um i did it all in one day yep. clearly um i watched the whole thing <laughs> impressive it's um it is uh there's no question and the, the wonderful thing about drive to survive i think is it's brought a whole load of people to to watch formula one to be fans of formula one um yep. that maybe weren't there before you get the the full behind the scenes the stories the dramas of last season leading up to us all starting on friday saturday and sunday this year what you do get from Drive to Survive is that it is brutal. It is cutthroat. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah that's Formula One. It's, uh, I mean, it's a top sport. Um, there's 20 spots, you know, there's 20 drivers in the world who can be in Formula One. Every other sport, you can have hundreds of players who are at different teams at the top level. Um, or in running races, I get you got, you got a certain amount of people and so on. So there's not many opportunities to, to be here. And um, there's a lot of people that want to be in my seat. They want to be in every seat here on the, on the pit lane and, and in the grid. So it is tough, um, you know, but uh, you try not to think of it. I, I just do my best job that I can. I'm here for a good, good amount of years to go um, and hopefully many, many more after that. So I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing 
what uh, pretty much the only thing I'm good at in my life, which is driving. And I'm trying to do my job for my team. So um, I'm, I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it. But uh, like you said, um, it's tough uh, and it can go wrong as quickly as it, as it went right. You must be looking forward to Vegas. I think it's the first time there's been a Formula One race uh, there since 1982. Yep. And the circuit goes along that iconic strip. How amazing will that be? Uh, I mean, I've never been to... I've been to Vegas, but I was, uh, what, 17 or 16 at, 17 at the time. Um, I didn't act, even go outside there. I went to a venue and I left the venues back to the airport. So. I'm pretty much classing myself as saying I've not, never been to Vegas, so I'm going to look forward to it. Um, but it's going to be amazing. Like, considering how good Miami was last year, and it's probably going to be this year, Austin, um, the American races have been pretty insane, uh, especially because of Drive to Survive and the Netflix series. How much it's grown there, and the audience there is, is pretty incredible. So we're all going to enjoy it. All the, all the team, um, myself, it's going to be a very special place. Everyone knows Vegas. Uh, and it's going to be busy as hell, so well, uh, I, I mean, look forward to it. I mean, what, for the first time, that you won't be able to say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, because what happens in Vegas will be very important yeah. for the, <laughs> You'll see the it team all. and for you and for driving. You mentioned the, uh, uh, America, though. And although it did, didn't get shown, you didn't get shown much on, on TV, uh, Texas was, yeah. was a fabulous race for you. Uh, oh, it was. Uh, one of the best of the year for me. Um, uh, good racing, great overtakes, battle with Fernando right to the, the last couple laps. Um, Austin, Austin is just a great place, a very fun environment, um, crazy fans, uh, busy. E everything there in, in Austin has been um, pretty amazing and growing uh, year on year. So I look forward to going back this season. I look forward to going to Miami. Um, but it, w it was a great race. So for anyone who didn't see Austin last year, it's definitely one to, to look back at. Just, um, just finally, um, I mean, you've, you've been, and I think it's really important, you guys are seen as gladiators. Yeah? You're, you're, uh, you're also massively influential. You have a, a, a very young audience, um, uh, all yep. after the merch. Um, 2019, 2020, you said you, you didn't know how to deal. Who would, at 19 and 20, who would know how to deal with something like that? We were just talking earlier on about where were we when we were 19 and 20. We were not sitting in the seat of a Formula One car. That comes with its own mm -hmm. pressures, and you've you've highlighted the importance of mental health. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's um, it has been something I've spoken a lot about. Uh, I worked a lot with with uh, with Mind the charity, um, and it was something I struggled a lot with back in in 2019, 2020. You know, my first couple of years in Formula One, this stage, the cameras, the TV, um, it was a lot. I mean, I'm sure some people deal with it much better than others. The same things with with everything in life, but. Um, it's something I struggled with a lot um, and in some ways lost my enjoyment. Uh, I lost the focus of enjoyment for why I'm here, which is just to love driving and, and love doing what I'm doing. So, uh, but I, I've got it back, you know, and that comes with experience as well. It's a kind of a, a period probably every driver goes through and every sports person goes through. Um, but I have a great team around me. Um, I worked with many different people and um, people just, you know, to have uh, around me at all times. You know, my, my team is very important to me from my, my family to, uh, to the people I travel with, my, my manager, my trainer, my whole, my whole entourage of, of mechanics, engineers, everyone here. So uh, we all look after each other. It's a very tough thing to deal with in Formula One, um, but we're all here for each other. We support each other and um, yeah, we're all here to enjoy at the same time. Have we a great wish season. We best of luck. Stay safe. We'll be watching. Be amazing. Make us proud, son. I will. <laughs> I will. Don't worry. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good bye. luck. Bye. Speak bye now. And you can catch all the action from the Bahrain Grand Prix this Sunday from 1.30 on Sky Sports F1. But, of course, on Fridays, there's the, the practice on Fridays. There's the qualifying on Saturdays as well. Loads to watch.